expensive publicity campaign for my new book, <laughs> which I'll be reading from. <laughs> Poems from an Unending Pandemic. This is called Empty Pages. I'm now an imagined writer, a fictional creation in a real world, yet still believing myself a writer, as the muse remains muzzled, dreaming of greener pastures where pandemics no longer exist and life experiences happen with stories yet to be told. She waits silent, wordless, as the body count mounts, marking time for history, while I remain lost on empty pages. This is called Grim, Grimm's Fairy Tale 2020. Four months into it, sitting on the couch in your underwear and bathrobe, unwashed for five days now, watching the world fall apart on TV, belching, farting, and picking at that new pimple on your cheek. Wondering what the fuck happened to romance and dancing close to soft music and making out in dark doorways and feeling like your heart was going to burst with joy and smoking a doobie, watching a blazing sunset on the pier. Life was so full of possibilities. We were going to be one. We were going to change the fucking world. Yeah, you remember that. That was another life where maybe it never even happened. This is called Hope on the suicide of a friend's son during the pandemic. Hope seems all that remains in this dystopian night. Peace and love are vanished, gone. Each of us now somehow broken emotionally, physically, mentally, no longer with means to heal ourselves from an unending panic of aloneness. We struggle gathering broken pieces of the we that was us, but pieces seem missing or no longer fit the us that was we. Only hope offers solace or possibility of redemption. Let us hope together that we can make the pieces fit as one again. Reach for my hand. I'll be there for you when you call out alone in the night. Love is gone, but hope remains. Thank you. This is called True Romance. I still fantasize running in slow motion across the platform as the train at the Bruges train station into the arms of my lover as she steps down from the Paris train. Yeah, I'm still that fucking romantic. <laughs> this is called Artists Under Siege. I am no longer. I'm disappeared, somehow vanished in a pandemic wilderness of chaos and opposition. I'm no longer a poet. Words failed me. Truth no longer exists. I'm no longer an artist. My vision obscured by bodies in freezer trucks. I no longer can dance, move and obstructed by brown shirt troops and marching moms. I'm no longer an actor. My stage now in ER littered with unnamed broken and dying. I'm no longer a musician. My soft mellow notes replaced by the screech of sirens in the night. I can no longer sing, my voice overtaken by the wail of families for the lost and gone. All that remains of me is one sound, a single note, an ohm of peace, lost in the chaos of dying dreams and opposition anger. This piece is called Brett. Thank you. Happy stuff here, huh? <laughs> well, the only thing I could say is I spent two years of my life at home feeling depressed, and I think the rest of the world was too. So <laughs> this is what it happened. This is called Brothers. We call each other late in the night when we had too much to drink, talking shit about what we're doing, but really just needing to reconnect. We're the only ones that know that shit we did. We're the only ones that remember that shit we did. We were there and did that shit, and it still hurts. That time's gone now. For everyone else, we were never there. We never did it. They don't care anything about it anymore. We do. We remember that shit. It haunts our nights. We call brothers to talk shit bound forever in dark, horrible memories. Mm. Yeah, I do, I do children's parties, too. <laughs> In, in dreams I dance. After a year in pandemic confinement, I stare blankly in a mirror, looking for a me that was. The previous me, now forever gone, lost in a vortex of unimagined death charts. What character remains in the morning mirror? Fragments of a sad youth reimagined? Remnants of lovers enjoyed and gone? 
pieces of a body broken by my life choices? No. Bits of a life bitten and chewed well. Memories of booze and drugs overdone and exploited. Joys of live music heights never again to be now in this arthritic body. Reflections of an old writer seeking words to define a past that remains unexplainable and unrecoverable. Except in memories of those still here who mouth the words but can no longer dance the dance. Yet in dreams, I still dance. Thank you. Wow.